Um, talking about making statements, one thing that two of these guys up next are going to be looking to do there, Doctor, it is between two campmates for the first time here this evening, I do believe, between BFAP Naznim, who is 4-0 in the division, looking to defend his ranking spot, rank number two right now. Um, obviously looking to get himself into title talks in the near future, but in order to do so, he has to go up against what has been the Xbox GOAT, at, lo at least across UFC 4, and the man looking to build his way back towards the end of this season now, as he reintroduces himself back into the competitive space on UFC 5. BFAP motherfucking Trixie finds, him, uh, finds himself at the top of the main card, bro, back where he's normally there or thereabouts too, as 3-0 against 4-0 finally meet up to back, uh, for, you know, for this entire card here this evening, for all the marbles to try and get themselves back into that title tour. Yeah, it's really going to be one of those fights. So, Naznim versus Trixie. Campmates, I know they know each other's skill. They know he, how each other fights. They've called into each other's probably plenty of times. But now they're going to go against each other for the for probably a shot against Fad in the very near future, you've got to imagine. Yeah. I mean, the record only says 3-3, but I imagine that that would have been, you know, turned off at certain points. Um... Now his name obviously a little newer to the BFAP camp, but still been around them for a very long time now in terms of the grander scale of things. Just comparatively to Trixie, of course, one of the OGs of BFAP, one of the OGs of Primetime MMA. And a guy that has a resume unlike any other. But of course, if anybody's going to know your style intricately, it's going to be your teammates, J-Dime. And I suppose that right now Nasnim's going to have to try and capitalize on that. And especially Ooh. early with this corner pick. Yeah, you can tell that he knows Trixie. The counters, like, he's fighting him like he's fought him a million times, Cyrus. Oh, exactly right. Uh, I mean, honestly, from the start of this fight, if I took away names, I'd be like, Connor's doing this right now. He's really, really starting to set the tempo of this fight. But, of course, you can never count out Swift Trixie as he lands perfectly timed Ooh. uppercuts and combinations right there. Once again, getting the respect back oh. and setting oh. up the left goddamn oh, hand. Right. Oh, bro. Oh, my. I thought Trixie was literally having momentum slowly taken away from him, and he just says, nope. Five yeah, he seconds decided, later. Yeah, he decided, no, that's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Literally five seconds later, man. Five seconds later. There's three minutes in this first round. Swift Trixie now working those little bobble shots from top, and, of course, Connor trying to return it. They're trying to work up the GA if you're not in the know so that they can more easily advance positions. He found it hard to do so and opted for the posturing up that at least maintains position and allows him to get a couple of denies out here, Doctor. Trixie, of course, showing the absolute breadth of his skill right now as he is very, very, very much trying to advance but finding it hard to do so up against another phenomenal competitor in Naznim. Yeah, he was trying to build that GA, trying to do some stuff, but so far Naznim keeping fairly well stuck into the half guard position although you can see that blue boss slowly creeping up hopefully going to go for another transition maybe top mount as it's either the most damaging position in the game so far does go for it but now he's in staying the ever predominant grappler here of just keeping the position sprawl is a good idea but again you can get your body work or you can power transition to backside and then start to really build up from here again and we're back we're back to our feet, and I just noticed that they're wearing matching team shorts right now. That's cute. <laughs> no lies detected. Solidarity in this matchup. Of course, they did not want to have to fight their teammates, but if they did, they wanted to be in matching garb. Um, no, in all seriousness, this is a, an incredible matchup so far. I'm very surprised at how well Naznim has been able to do it on the feet, striking-wise. Like, he got clipped. But, like, he seems to be the cleaner of the two with the boxing, at least, right now. And it's, it's wild, actually. It's actually wild to see. That's what happens when you're familiar with somebody. That's what happens. Because someone, they can be better than you. But if you play someone a certain amount of times, you know them. And they know you. So, you know what they're thinking every time they go for a counter. You know what it's going to be. Yeah, styles make matchups as well, of course. And the more you get to train... And as name is, you know, stylistically matching up very, very well. Now, of course, the biggest success talk was from the grappling of Trixie after that big knockdown that he was able to get. Um, but he is suffering from a little bit of a stamina deficit after putting out what was a very active first round. 
Yeah, the recovery in between rounds has definitely done work to bring that back so it's not as big as it was seeming earlier on in, at the end of the first round. But it's definitely notable, especially as we head into the later parts of the second round. So the biggest one, the biggest takeaway you can take from round one, though, was Ed Trixie's big counter shot on that rear hook. And so that's what you've probably got to imagine Trixie's going to be looking for. Um, throughout this round is looking for that big counter shot end of the back on the ground and so then he can just walk, farm it out and then try to figure out where, where where's the next adjustment he needs to make here Joe. yeah but now his nim looks really good right now cyrus he does man he does he looks fucking he looks great in fact like his striking is i said he looks like the technically smoother of the two on the feet and that is wild I don't think I've ever said anybody about that about anybody that's fighting Trixie in the past. And um, Trixie's still having a lot of success. He's still winning the fight, quite probably, actually. But although he may not be in the, the most uh, silky smooth, he's definitely being the most efficient and the most damaging out of the two competitors, Doc, as he lands a couple of knees on the inside and a hook on the, uh, on the break right there. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's lovely exit out of the clinch. I mean, Tracy did some fantastic work inside the clinch as well. The jabs, the general vibe that you're getting off of Nazmin so far has definitely been he is just moving sharp, as you mentioned. But Tracy somehow still finding his way. He's still finding the perfect shots at the time. He knows, yeah, I think he's prolonged veteran this. Mm. I it can just oh, really my. do everything here, it seems. I mean, traditionally his best round is this second round he does get a rock right there after once again Connor seemed to be ahead for a lot of that round but Trixie just absolutely digging down deep gets clipped though Jay oh my god oh, oh why the overhand see why the overhand when you're that close like stop you have like just be just be safe like there we go take your time not the overhand nice work going to the body from the one and only Trixie right there this man was. Oh my god, I thought that the head kick would have been bad. Nice work. Teetering on the edge of the range right there. Oh, slips and rips once again. Conor oh Gregor gets a clip. My... Take your time because Trixie's looking for a counter. Do not get carried away. For someone like Trixie, uh, he'll take this momentum right back from you, Doctor. Yeah, and there's oh, no, the no, overhand. No, <laughs> I mean, yeah, so far Nazgum getting a couple of stuns. I think that definitely goes into Nazgum's favor. Three stuns to two significant strikes out into the favor of Trixie. So could go either way. Definitely felt like a Nazgum round of how those stuns were looking. 1-1 one, one into the third. I mean, this is a tough fight for both of these guys. It really is. But, um, yeah, I mean, both of them are making some superb adjustments here, Joe. Man, here we go. This is, he beat Trixie in Trixie's best round, but this isn't over. It's round three. Let's see if he can get the job done, or is Trixie still the man in the BFAB camp, Doctor? Who knows? I mean, here's the thing, like, even with the silky smoothness of Nazan the striker, Jay is still getting the stun, still getting the knockdowns, and still, um, Trixie is, sorry, um, he's still getting all those shots. Oh, Ooh. nice push. Oh. Up until oh now! Up until God. now! Oh. Doctor! Oh. oh, I thought you cursed him there, bro, but no, he survived oh, it. I cursed him. I was oh. Oh. Dino, I don't know who gave you Skittles, bro, but you need to lay off them. Um, that, that is, uh, that's crazy. In no way is this man washed. It is actual blasphemy. Uh, he has been fighting phenomenally throughout the entirety of this card uh, and this fight so far. The man is undefeated and having the fight of his life right now up against a teammate. It's been an incredible bout so far. They have three minutes left to make all of their uh, changes and adaptions. Leave it all in the cage out here, Jay Dime. But yeah, now it's back on the feet. It's one of those ones, you know, only one shot, bro. Only one shot. They're both compromised. And will he put him away? You could never count Trixie out. 
this is the top of the main card. Both of these guys. Oh here. my oh! god! Contention and Trixie getting the knockdown back, working that body in the oh! Uppercut off the break as well. Hooked on both oh! sides. Now going into oh! the guard. Oh, is looking, it over? Looking to get a finish like he did in round one. Holy. Oh! Oh, this is great. This is so great. This is nice. Oh! And, he, oh. and here we go. Mid. How did this fight end? <laughs> Only God knows. One minute 35 Ooh. left on the clock. We are watching history in the making. Teammates collide. Oh, oh my oh. God! Say what now? Say what now? Washed what? Absolutely incredible. The GOAT! KO of the night. That is just perfect. Picture perfect timing. Step oh, back. wow. Wilder, pink hey. with the strike, and that was it. Both Man. their heads held could have been gone there, but Jesus, Trixie. There's a reason this man's known as the GOAT so far, because he does shit like that. Washed who? Washed where? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Beef Bab Trixie. Tough ass fight. Has the wherewithal, has the veteran savvy to pull out some shit like that. God damn, man. The absolute pound for pound goat. Still, still, the resumes back it up. Man. M moments like that, Jay, damn, they back it up. That was fucking mental, man. bro. Man, listen, listen. And CV said it right. Them backstabs. It seemed like them backstabs have been the key to winning today. Them step backs, mm -hmm. been winning all day.